we're here with Linda Bussey. She is running for her second term on city council. Linda, maybe just tell us a little bit about yourself first for the people who don't know you, and then we can get in uh, and talk about why you're running again. Okay, well, I've been living up north for 23 years, 19 yeah. of them here in Yellowknife, raised my family, uh, worked in very different sectors from the public sector to the private to the NGO. Yeah. Um, I have a wealth of experience in governance before running for council. I was on different boards. I was twice a trustee for two different school boards. And I've been involved as much as in the cultural than in the sports. And I do plan to retire here. And I am retiring here. I just downsized and bought my retirement home. Oh, great. <laughs> Maybe tell us why you're seeking a second term. Because I need to finish what I started. Okay. I, when I, and I'm very proud that I really delivered on the commitments that I put forward in 2012, that I was, was going to give a lot of time to the social issues, to the homelessness, and to the downtown revitalization. Um, projects for the downtown revitalization didn't go as expected, so I want to see that move forward. I, the co-chair of the Community Advisory Board on Homelessness, and it was so exciting yesterday to be at the open house of the Hope Havens because the cab is in support and we put the youth and homelessness as one of our three priorities. I chair the social issues that was usually in a quarterly meeting. We brought it down to monthly meeting and what we're going to come out with, we're trying to work on a Yellowknife selfie to give data about who is the population of Yellowknife. Okay, maybe uh, we can address the issues for this uh, election campaign. Like, what do you feel are the top issues? You raised a number of uh, things, uh, uh, some of the stuff uh, we've, we've talked about from 2012, like downtown. Maybe you want to just sort of uh, talk about uh, what you see as uh, the top issues for this election. Well, for me, the downtown is an issue. I did not support the purchase of 50-50 mm -hmm. corner because it was very important for me to address those three lots that are on the 50th Avenue. I do not support a commercial plaza. I want to see an anchor, something that's sustainable, something that we can draw off, and that will attract mixed use. I want to see residential use in the downtown. I think an echo housing project on the 50, 50, mm. on the 50th Avenue would be amazing. I do not support the Arctic Winter Games for... The Canada Winter Games? Uh, oh. Canada Winter Games. Yeah. <laughs> I support the Arctic Winter Games, the Canada Winter Games. Yeah. I can't. I can't at this time because there's not enough information, financial information. And when I hear about, uh, especially things about sports that we can't offer here, that we're going to offer in another territory, but we're going to financially support that, mm. it doesn't make sense. I don't think the return on our investment is there. Uh, for sure, homelessness for me is key. Uh, the cab were before the next Within the next three months, I must say, we're going to have a Housing First project coming out. And it's very exciting. And I, I think we're going to see very, very tangible results with the Housing First project. Okay. Uh, any other issues you think that, uh, that people will be talking about? Like uh, cost of living, I think, would probably be one? I think the cost of living is always there. And I think, right, as you know, it's, it's, we can't do this alone. We need to be involved with the territorial government. We need to be involved with the federal government for the cost of living. So I think it's partnership, and we need to look at that. I think if we say that we can address that on our own as a municipal, no, we're here for infrastructure. We need to make our infrastructure better, everything from roads to facilities. And that's what we can do, but we can work on fee and charges and allow people to take advantage of what we can offer in the city at a better cost. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Linda. Good luck on the election. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>